Hey everybody, this is a demo for a bunch of folks in the Miro community forum asking about uh, tools that will um, help either do uh, counting, so count a widget, count different widgets by their property. Widget is uh, the sort of Miro term for different uh, object type so like an, a card is a widget a type of widget and so is a sticky note so counting widgets is kind of what their filter does they're there it shows that I have you know eight uh, sticky note widgets and, and one card widget um, but we had built this thing funny enough we built this almost a year ago before Miro came out with theirs and we had had it going all the way down to the property so like red sticky notes orange um sticky notes two orange sticky notes so i'm going to show it to you now and i think it might be very useful for the things that people are um are, are would looking to do whether that's like voting or grading using um using marker you know the pen marker tool and um and also being able to make really uh granular sub selection so let's check it out i'm just going to select a whole bunch of stuff here and come into uh, super selection um, and then what I'll do is I'll hit set selection and you'll see I have um, three widget types so I've got sticker card and curve and I can actually just this this works very similar this top part uh, works very similar to what Miro currently has in terms of this this filter selection uh, there but um, so, so that would make sense, right? So we'll just take the sticky notes, um, which are called stickers. And uh, here's the different properties I can sort by. I've got, it looks like, um, and these are kind of small and I, you know, I can, um, we can make these a little bit bigger and any other feedback, you know, as we share this around, we always want to hear feedback and your hopes and dreams on stuff. So these are still a little small in my opinion, right now these these numbers especially when counting is really important because um, uh, this was not this was first meant for like super filtering and not like um, counting but here's kind of you know so we've got um, our stickers um, and we've got uh, one red one uh, three yellow uh, two orange two green one blue screen um, and then you can notice as I select off these you can um, make a really granular selection, really good, like kind of filtering. Um, and then you can, you know, put them all back on or whatever. You can bring the cards back into the selection and um, you can say, um, you know, just grab all my curves, pull those away, which is really cool. Um, these pen marks are called curves in the data parlance of Miro. Um, but yeah, so for uh, Ryan, um, who reached out in the community forum, he wanted to count um, pen markings by color. And so you can see here, um, it's doing just that. And we can, um, whoop, that one doesn't show up well when it's on the other one. Um, we can do that easily by subselecting to the curves and just checking in on, on the color. So we've got three orange, two purple, two, uh, two red, and that should be really helpful for folks. Um, yeah, and you can select kind of like sub-selections across, uh, you know, different, um, different types. So this is kind of like the, the union of all property values associated with each object. So right now I've got cards, of which I'm selecting only the blue ones, and I'm selecting uh, curves, which are the pen marks. And I'll take, let's just do this. We'll take all the red cards, we'll take all the red markings, and let's just for fun take all the stickers that are red too. And this is our red objects. Um, pretty cool, I'm sure. I haven't really played around with it again we just kind of got it to this you know beta state and then we didn't even release it so i'm sure there's going to be all kinds of little issues in it that um could make it better and yeah i hope this could be helpful for you guys and um if you want it uh if you want to test it out
please direct message me in the um, in the community forum. <laughs>